uh, his YouTube username is uh, like Digital Bag Boy or whatnot, Bag Boy Films or something like that. You may have heard of him, you may have not. Uh, I'm not going to really go into much detail about what you know what he does on his channel or anything or what you know or you know just stuff like that. But uh, but I did say I'd apologize and then I am going to apologize for uh, uh, just my actions because maybe I went a little too far. But uh, you know. It is what it is, you know. Uh, he explained to me, you know, why he's doing what he's doing. And then it kind of made sense to me a little bit because it's like, you know, if this is how you want to be, I guess, you know, I can't I can't stop you. But I just don't want no problems with, with you and I, you know, uh, because I just don't need that right now. I've worked too hard to get as many subscribers as, I've, as I have, and I've worked too hard to, to make it as far as I have made it. And uh, I don't need any interference from that. And I, I just want everybody to be cool about everything. And let's just, just have a lot of fun and not have too much controversy. Because it still kind of drove me a little nuts, you know, about the whole 5 Awesome Suds channel. And how much controversy spewed out of that channel before its bitter end. And, uh, you know, I would channel that I created just for the sake of fun and entertainment. But, uh, anyway, so... That's what, you know, to explain that to you, just, you know, to say that I am uh, sincerely sorry for anything I may have said or did uh, to get you upset. So, there you go, Campbell. There you go. <laughs> so, so, I wanted to get that out of the way to make that apology. I don't know how sincere it is, but uh, laws were all good. I think, uh, I think it will be good. Okay, the other thing I was here talking about or show actually I got something from a friend a friend of mine a good buddy and uh, it seems like a lot of times on my channel we you know, when it comes to good films and whatnot the films that we discuss the most on this channel or on my channel anyway is uh, The Goonies Back to the Future and Ghostbusters well I happen to have <laughs> well the tradition doesn't stop it, it, uh, I, I happen to have a, a, a game here that I was going to show that I got from a friend uh, this is the Ghostbusters 2 uh, original Activision from Activision. You can tell Activision. Hold on there, Activision. And it's the original Ghostbusters 2 uh, video game. And it's not a video game for Nintendo, but I think it's pretty much the same same thing for you know like the they they made it the same way they did for the Nintendo game anyway. Same graphics anyway. But it's bigger because this is the original IBM floppy disk set and by floppy disk I mean floppy disk and I don't know how many people actually still carry floppy disks around I know I don't but the only reason why I, I wanted this from from my friend was because he he didn't want to throw this away because he he knew how much of a, a fan I was of, of Ghostbusters and and you know I'll use this set more just for collection you know just you know have it as a collector's thing but I wanted to show you guys this. This is, this is kind of cool. Is uh, you can do a lot with this game. I don't know if you guys have you ever played the original Ghostbusters, not the Ghostbusters game that came out last year, but this is the original Ghostbusters 2 game, and uh, it's pretty much the same way as like I said for Nintendo and any other platform that it ever came out for. But this is for a computer. This is for an IBM computer and all that. And uh, yeah, I, I I like this. So thank you, friend. Uh, who I'll keep nameless, but uh, you know who you are. You watch my YouTube videos, and somebody who who uh, who I look up to, not just as a fellow coworker, but as a really good friend, and somebody that I have a lot of trust and respect for. And uh, yeah, he's just a good guy. And he he said that uh, if he finds any more junk or whatever for me, like collector's item, he will uh, let me know. And if he does, I'll show more on film. Why not? So. Anyway, so that's all I wanted to talk about or show uh, today. And like I said, Campbell, there's your apology. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, try to make it as sincere as I can. Uh, I was going to go further into the, this discussion a little bit for the Digital Bag Boy thing. Uh, a lot of you guys uh, will probably know them more or less as uh, they don't really like Shane Jensen. They don't really like Tom Roycroft that much. And, and I don't know why. I really don't know why. They kind of explained to me a little bit why. But, you know, that's your own thing. I personally love Tom Roycoff and, 
and I don't have a problem with Shane Jensen or anybody on YouTube anymore, uh, as I used to anyway, but, uh, uh, yeah, so, so, any, I'm sure, I think Tom Burkhoff actually watches my videos here, I don't know if Shane do, does or whatever, but, uh, anyway, so, yeah, get that out of the way. Tomorrow's video is going to be a lot more exciting, though, because uh, this is going to be kind of interactive. We're going to talk about Bruce Willis. Why are we going to talk about Bruce Willis? Well, you just got to find out tomorrow. All right, watch. We continue the Daily Summer Vlogs, the last month of the Daily Summer Vlogs, right here on YouTube.com. Bye-bye.